Good evening. My name is Reverend Dinga Kenneth Mjojo, and I'm the senior pastor of Christ Citadel International Church in Nottingham. In our devotion this evening, I will read from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1 and 3, and verse 12. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, and with them some of the Ninites came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, A great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea, and behold, they are in Hezazon Tamar. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid and set his face to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Verse 12 O oh, our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Here we have a situation. Jehoshaphat is facing an alliance of armies. Armies that have gotten together to wage a decisive war against Judah and against Jehoshaphat himself as the king of the nation. This is a real war. When Jehoshaphat hears about it, he is afraid. But he does one thing. He calls his people, and they meet in the house of the Lord. He declares the fast, and they begin to pray, to seek the face of the Lord. Verse 12, Jehoshaphat says, says something very important. He says, Lord, we are powerless against this imminent attack, but our eyes are on you. Today, and for the past few months, we are facing an enemy, an invisible no one has seen it. We hear about it because we are told. This enemy is the pandemic caused by the coronavirus. Corona COVID-19. There is so much fear that is being generated. People are afraid. People have died. People are separated. People are so stressed because of what is happening. Just as what Jehoshaphat and the nation of Israel experienced. They were afraid. They were afraid of dying. They were afraid of being separate, separated. War separates people. And today, with this enemy, we are being separated. We are under lockdown. We cannot move around because of the pandemic. But one thing that we know, even though we are powerless as human beings, our eyes must be focused on the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, just as Jeho Jehoshaphat declared, just as he made mention to the people of Israel, that we do not have anywhere to go to, but our eyes are set to look at you, because you are the one that is with a solution. You are the one that has got the answer. And that is what I would say today. That as a church, let us rise up in prayer. Let us not be afraid, but let us be bold in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to stand up and believe God that he is the only one who is able to stop this pandemic in his trust. While government is doing everything possible, we can pray. I want us to pray right now as I bring this devotion to a close. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you and I want to bless your mighty name because of this opportunity that you have given us. I am praying, Heavenly Father, together with members of the body of Christ in the city of Nottingham, that Lord, this is the time that the church will rise up. This is the time that members of the body of Christ will rise up to look up to you. For the Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains where my help comes from. For our help comes from the Lord God Almighty, maker 
of heaven and earth. Lord, we want to thank you for salvation comes from you alone. In Jesus' name, amen.